What's going on YouTube? Today I have another exciting new video of the Nerf Armory 2. In other words, my second Nerf Armory video. Now, uh, as you can maybe see, I have quite an entourage laid out here. You can't really see all of them. I have much more than this. Just hold on and I'll show you it all. Prepare to be impressed. Yeah, uh, so here's some of the blasters I have laid out on my desk that couldn't fit on my pegboard, my pegboard wall, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so I'll just start from the back here. This is the Busby Ultimate uh, Rapid Blast. It shoots 12 darts, holds 12 darts, that is. I got this off uh, Nerf Haven. I have the Fire Strike. All these are stock unless I say they're not stock. Um, the Rough Cut 2x4, Busby Overlord, um, the Nerf Deploy. Um, now my two uh, custom blasters that are supposed to match each other. Here's the Inferno as the secondary, and here's the Redwood as a primary. Jesus is the only way, guys, just so you know. Anyway, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so so this is just a little bit of my blasters here. These two are custom. All the rest are uh, stock. These right here. <clears throat> and now I'll uh, go ahead and... Well, I'm up here. I might as well show you. And here I have my... Oh, this one's empty, guys. My bad. <laughs> paint and brushes. And then I have my paint down here. I'm not sure what's in this one. Not anything in that one. Um, here's my parts bin. I have a bunch of little screws and nuts. Um, smaller parts. And a whole ton of larger parts in here. I think I can get it open, but... Yeah, as you can see, that's quite a bit of parts there. Um, here I have my workbench. Here's my airbrush, which I intend to be using pretty soon. Um, because that's what I plan to be doing on a blaster. I'll tell you about later at the end of the video, so stay tuned, please. There's my helping hands when I need to solder stuff. Um, here's my three-door big toolbox. It's actually pretty nice. Um, I keep my tools in here. There's nothing in here. I don't have that many tools, that is. And so, um, yeah, here's all my tools. Um, I have a few more down here. Yeah, so there's my toolbox. Um, yeah, so now the main part of my arsenal, <coughs> the wall. Yeah, it's... Sorry, I'm trying to get in the frame here. Just kind of difficult. Ugh. Okay, there you go. Um, so, yeah. It goes all the way down to there. And this isn't even my entire wall either. You'll see here in a minute. Um, so, yeah, I'll just start here and go like this, I guess. Um, <clears throat> Nerf Long Strike, uh, Nerf Raider, Nerf Recon, Nerf Firefly. Three stock Nerf Mavericks, my customized Nerf Stinger Maverick with LED integration. Yeah, pretty sweet. Still works pretty awesome. Um, I picked up a clear Maverick from a thrift shop the other day. It's pretty awesome. Eh, thrift shop. See how I did there? Eh, eh, no. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> Nerf Quick 16. This is probably the suckiest gun ever. I really hate this gun. Just because the spring is compressed way too much. Now it only shoots like, I don't know, like 20 feet. <laughs> Um, here's the Nerf Mag Strike, <coughs> Nerf Stam um, Swarm Fire, Nerf Hyper Fire. Um, I took the restrictors out of this one and this one. Um, yeah. Here's a stock Stampede. There's my Barricade. There's a Triad. Take that off. There's a stock Reflex. Here's an SSPB, which is like Super Secret Pocket Blaster. I think that's what that stands for. This is a really old one with the pretty colorful molded plastic so it's actually pretty rare I haven't seen another one like this not that, to my knowledge here's a jolt um, here's a reflex with a coupler I put on it and repaired it doesn't work that great but hey whatever if you want it as a secondary it'd be alright um, here's a strike fire um, but saw that's actually the worst I take that back these three blasters are like the worst um, Nerf Hornet we all know that's a pretty awful blaster unless you integrate it into something um, here's my Orange Mod Works we, uh, Recon. It has the uh, Massacre kit in it. It shoots pretty dang hard with my uh, glue tip dome streamlines. Um, a Spectre. Um, a Speed Swarm. Uh, Scout. Uh, Nerf Sonic Series Vulcan. Very proud of that. I don't know too many people with that gun. And then I have a regular Vulcan over here. Um, Nerf Barrel Break. Uh, now we're kind of getting over here to the Elite Blasters, but first here's a Nerf Titan, and my second Nerf Titan, which is a blue one, this is not customized or painted, it's hard to find these nowadays, so that's actually kind of a rare item also. Um, got my Nerf Retaliator, Nerf Rampage, Nerf Hailfire, of course, that's the best one, 
Nerf Strife, love that one. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I'm just kind of a klutz and almost fell over there. Um, yeah, and the Nerf Elite Strong Arm, that's probably the last Elite Blaster that I'll do, besides the Nerf Elite Raven. Um, here is my first complete stock long shot. Um, it's stock, I'm not going to be selling this one. Um, here's a pump snap that I made just one day. It really does need some work. The trigger's like falling off. It doesn't get that great of range either, so I'm going to be getting a K26 for that and trying to buff that up maybe a little bit and put a hopper on it because now it's just a um, single, singled one. And the barrel's not straight, so there's lots of stuff to do with that one. Um, and this is one of my vintage items. I'm very proud of this. This is a Nerf Supermax 3000. Um, this is made in, I believe, 1999 or 1998. I don't know. It's pretty old. Um, hold on a second, guys. I'll check that. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, guys, this was made in 1999. Um, this thing also needs some work. I've tried to work on it. I couldn't figure out what the problem was. Um, I'm probably going to be selling this in the future because it'll actually be worth a lot whenever I sell it. Even though it's not in working order, I do believe it has all the parts with it. Um... Yeah, so there's my pump snap. I have a disassembled RF-20 here that I found at the thrift shop. It seems like it has a really bad pump and a really bad air seal, so I'm just trying to work on that and probably sell that too if I can't figure it out. Um, my I don't know what this is doing here, but this is the Overlord belt right here. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so now I get over here to my other side. This is all the Busby Blasters and non-Nerf guns. That whole side, I believe, was Nerf guns, so that's pretty awesome. Um, so, yeah, I'll just go down like I did. This is the Busby Berserker with the six-barrel dart absolver that it comes with. Um, this is the power lock connection kind. Here's a newer automatic Tommy 20. Here's an older automatic Tommy 20. Here's a Tommy Mech 20. I picked almost all the... I picked these two up at thrift shops, so it's pretty nice. Um, here's a Busby Hawk. Busby Double Shot. Um, this is the Lantern Shotgun, or a lot of people call it the Triple Shot, Quad Shot, whatever you want to call it. I plan to be doing mods on that because that's what a lot of people do. It's got a lot of modding potential in it. Um, excuse me. This is the Busby Cougar. Um, this is the Lantern. Sorry, guys. As I was saying, this is the Corpse Scatter Blast. Um, it's basically a grenade that's nerfed, which is pretty awesome. You just pump it up and... Uh, it has six darts when you throw it on the ground, it blows up, so there you go. Um, here's three Tech 3s, I know they're really silly. Mini Mega Bow, crappy blasters, right on this one. Um, tech 4, three Tech 6s, um, and a Air Hunter Z Curve Bow. This thing shoots, really it does, like 125 feet. I got stuck in the tree pretty easily with the arrows it comes with. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, before I go into the new inbox stuff, I have this little part on my wall here. Um, this is my other stock long shot. I have two dose. I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> They're basically complete except for the clips, I believe. And yeah, these are the ones I might modify, but I might not. Here's a uh, Nerf Sharp Shot, Nerf Firefly I found a thrift shop, Nerf. It's not Nerf. <laughs> it's just a power pump of marshmallow gun. I'm gonna try and make maybe make an RCB clip to one of those. And a reactor, which I intend to make a high-powered cannon out of with um, butane. It'll be pretty sweet if I get it finished. Um, so, yeah. Alright, guys. On to my new inbox stuff. I have quite a collection now um, from my last video. Um, this is a new inbox stampede. Yes, a new inbox stampede. That's pretty awesome because it's a giant blaster. I've been tempted to open it many times just to get the clips because those clips are quite valuable nowadays. But um, I've decided to keep it new in box because it'll be worth something sometime. Um, actually, to be honest, I don't even remember what I have in here since it's been so long. Um, here's a Lantern Scatter Blast. Um, I have Panther. These are all new in box, by the way, in case you didn't know. Which means they have never been opened. Um, this is a Refill and Reload Maverick. I have two of those. One here, one there. Um, one, two, three, four... Other Mavericks, yeah, that's right. One, two, three, four other Mavericks. Then here I have a Reflex. Uh, actually, I have two Reflexes down in there. Hold on a second, guys. I'll try and get you a better view of stuff. All right, guys, I got all the Mavericks and stuff out of the way. 
Um, so now here what I have is a new in box element action kick. Yes, it's new in box. You can't really find these anymore much either. It's an element and it's new in box. It's pretty awesome. You can't really even find those anymore. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And um, two stock bar uh, not NIB barricades. I don't know why I got those, but, you know. Um, another reflex, as I said earlier. And then under this uh, element, I have a new in box old style fire a new style firefly it's not the blue one it's the yellow one so yeah that's all my new inbox stuff for this box except uh i forgot i have a new inbox sspb in here yeah <laughs> i forgot about that too okay i'll switch over to the other box now all right guys um here is two more new nib boxes that i have that i'm gonna open and do reviews on this one i'm probably gonna wait because it's a tommy automatic 20 i mean that thing only costs like 20 bucks so it's really cheap this one, however, is the Raven, the original one, not the Elite one. Um, so what I may do, what I plan to do maybe, is um, when I get the new Elite Raven, I'm going to open them both at the same time and compare them and contrast them. Should be really cool because I've never seen anything done like that on YouTube before. So, yeah. Alright guys, here's my other box that doesn't have as much stuff in it. It's not full yet, luckily. Um, yeah, this is also a new in box, never been opened. This is a new Dart Tag Swarmfire. Um, here is the Rapid Strike Mission Kit right here that includes the Retaliator and those clips. Um, but, you know, I don't really feel like opening that. There's another Triad that I bought, like I said I did. Um, I remember saying that I was going to do a unboxing and review of the Alpha Trooper, but now I've kind of decided to just put it away as an IB now. I'm sorry I'm not going to unbox this, but it's getting pretty valuable. <laughs> uh, you can't find them that much anymore. I'm, I mean, not completely in, new in box anymore. Cheaply, that is. This only cost me 20 bucks at my local Target, so no, I don't really intend to be unboxing this. Yeah. Alright. Anyway, moving on. This is a, of course we know what this is, double your capacity flip clip set. Don't really need to go over that. Don't know why I got it. Just kind of, it was actually on sale before the new blasters came out. Um, here is a an IB recon that I bought on Black Friday. Yeah, there's a whole ton of them, um, but it was pretty much cleared out otherwise. Anyway, yeah, and lastly, in here what I have is my only Nerf new in box Super Soaker. This is the Tornado Strike. Yeah. Um, so that's all my new in box stuff. Now I'll move on to some of the other stuff in my workshop. Um, I thought I might mention what also I have in here, uh, supplies-wise, kind of. Um, here is an old, whatchamacallit, it's basically based off the Overlord, but it was before the Over Busby Overlord came out, and there's a shell in there. Then there's the stock of the Redwood I did in there also, in case I wanted to use that stuff for scrap plastic. Or I just wanted to do a shell integration in case I had some internals and wanted to integrate something into a shell. Um, also, yeah, here... Um, I have my holster for my Busby Inferno over there, and uh, here's some of the slugs I'm going to be selling. By the way, I'm going to be selling, um, let me show you here. Sometime I'm going to sell this thing, or I don't know when, because I need to do some work on that one first. Uh, I'm going to be selling the Redwood and the Inferno on my new website. Um, I'm not going to tell you what my new website is, because it's not finished yet. Um, I'm still working on it, still working hard on it get it done this weekend due to some family issues but um yeah so yeah anyway sorry i got off on a whole bunny trail there i'll yeah <laughs> all right um here i have some stock uh tagger darts the new ones at least and in here i have some of the old the new suction cup darts uh what i say new i don't know <laughs> there's some of the old star style tagger darts and then in here I have some of the new style taggers, and these are the um, suction cup darts that come with the Firefly. I decided I'd keep these because they're actually kind of valuable nowadays. Um, yeah, and down here is where I keep all the rest of my darts. This is a lot more tightly packed, so please bear with me. This is a lot of darts. Prepare to be amazed. Hold on. Gotta, uh, gotta really pull it out there. Yeah. So... This is all my stock streamlines and elite streamlines. So yeah, that's quite a lot as you can see there. Um, I'm surprised they kind of all fit in this drawer. Um, let's see if I can get it back in here. Hold on a sec, guys. All right, guys, in the middle drawer, what I have here is um, 
my glue tip uh, dome streamlines. I have very few of those. I just did it for my Orange Mod Works recon up there um, for the darts to fly more straight. Um, yeah, and then I have my old Steffens. These are basically crap now, but you know, whatever. I was young and foolish. I had some foam background, some BBs to side. I make some. These are my custom Steffen stubs. I still use these on occasion for reviews, like you saw in my Inferno video. Um, I use these, and they actually work pretty well in big barrels. You can stuff a ton of them in there and get a lot of shots off like a shotgun. Um, and then I have some of these, these right here. These just weren't the good ones that I'm going to sell. I kept a few of those for testing. I'm going to make some new ones of those from the Mick Master Foam pads and stuff, which y'all know what that is, so I'm not going to explain that. Uh, let me get this one open, guys. Um, no, I don't really need to. This is my stock dart drawer other than that stuff. Uh, mostly Busby darts and off-brand, but I have a few Nerf whistlers in here. And then uh, some of the big Busby Berserker foam missiles and some of the shells from Busby. And yeah, so that is all my darts here. Um, what else can I show y'all? Oh yeah, I have some random crap in here. Because basically I'm just taking all this stuff apart for screws and parts and stuff. This stuff doesn't work anymore. I might use that for like a eventual tank, nerf tank mod that I might do eventually. I'll work with that and see if I can get that out to you guys. Um, anyway, yeah. Have all my work crap over here. Not much. Uh, there's a package of stock um, suction cup darts in there. Just thought I'd mention that. There's a rocket that goes to this thing. I forgot to mention this in the video earlier. It's basically an off-brand rocket launcher I bought at Big Lots. It's just so goofy. It's fun to mess with sometimes to relieve stress. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, uh, I have a hopper down here that doesn't work, so I'm probably just gonna trash that and keep the ball valve off it and try to make a new one. I have my air compressor. Sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna use that when I do my airbrushing for my new blasters. Um, I think that'll work out pretty well, well with my current airbrush setup, so yeah. It's a pretty nice tank that I got for Christmas from my dad, so yeah. I've um, got my chair here. I haven't sat in that in a long time because I've always been up here and nobody's ever come and visited me, obviously. My big light that basically lights up this whole area. It's pretty nice. Um, the lighting is a bit lacking in here, I must say. Um, that's all I got here. Um, I've been planning to add some more light bulbs or maybe some fluorescent lights up in here because it's a big, big, big space to fill with uh, lights and to keep it well lit, so yeah. Um, my garbage where I keep all my boxes that I throw away as you can see there's the overlord sticking out there uh, my target poster Republicans rule screw you liberals that's all I gotta say anyway yeah <laughs> that's all I can say without offending people too bad that's all I can do um, I have some more blanks in here for my stubs I'm making still got a lot more to go once I am done with those I'm gonna be done with the stubs entirely because I'm just tired of it <laughs> Anyway, yeah, forgot to mention this. Here's my six dart um, speed loader that I use with this thing. I'm planning on also selling this eventually, probably pretty cheap. I just want to get rid of it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, sorry for rambling so much in here, but I've got quite a bit of stuff to show. I also got my PVC pipe right in here. Um, yeah, so I will cut to my room where I got the last of my stuff. Alright guys, I'm in my room here. I got some of this other loose nerf stuff in here. Um, over here I got a rough cut and strife box. Is In this case I have two Titan rockets. Uh, one's older than the other. I forgot which is which, but whatever. Um, the arrows from the Z-Curve Hunter Bow. 25 round drum from the Rampage. Lots and lots of 6 round clips. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not count how many. Um, 18 round dart uh, drum that I got off Nerf Haven. Um, more six round clips, um, the 25 belt chain from the, uh, Busby Overlord, um, two tur a turret from, uh, Maverick, um, oh yeah, I don't think I showed this to y'all, but I made a flashlight out of my, one of my tack lights off my recon, it works pretty well, except two of the bulbs are kind of burned out, oh well, <laughs> it still makes a light as you can see, works pretty well, anyway, yeah, so then here I have two mag strike clips, um, and here's some random junk uh, massacre kit from Orange Mod Works. Um, yeah, and some old stuff from the recon. Also have a two times strength 
<laughs> Excuse me, guys. Two times strength Maverick Spring in here. It's pretty nice. But it's, for some reason, it doesn't like to work with my Stinger very well, so I didn't add it. Probably sell that. Um, yeah. What else I got? Oh, yeah. And I have four other turrets. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with Mavericks, if you can't tell. Four other turrets from Mavericks. Uh, one of them's from the older one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, in case I ever want to do a triple turret of Maverick, I have enough turrets to do so. Um, yeah. Anyway, I have my old Nerf ammo bag. As y'all know, I made this a while ago. Got some junk in there. Here's my grenade launcher. I still need to do a review on it. I put some hot glue in. Now it stays better. Um, still need to do a review on that. Um, here I got some other stuff. I got a NIB Night Finder. Y'all know what that is. I'm probably going to keep that new NIB. Um, this is an SSPB in the package and then two more right here. Um, my Thor hammer from Nerf. It's not the cheap kind. It's real. It's fun to throw around at people because it's Nerf and it won't hurt you. It'll kind of knock you off your feet if it hits you too hard, but whatever. Um, random straps and Nerf bandoliers in there. And then here I got, um, there's a translucent, I mean, Sonic series Vulcan tripod. Vulcan tripod, Vulcan tripod out of three because I found one at a, a thrift shop. Here I have a 50 dart Vulcan belt. I did the modification where you put two of them together that everybody does. So, um, then right here I have um, two mag strike clips. I believe I have another one in here somewhere. So I actually have five mag strike clips, which is pretty nice. Um, I have the Vulcan ammo box. Then I have the belt and the translucent ammo box down there. Then here I have six. Well, yeah, six super clips. One, two, three, four, five, six super clips. Those are the nice ones. The 18 dart ones, they're straight. Then um, I have the Vulcan shield. Um, so, yeah, I think that basically just about covers everything. Um, yeah, so as you can see my uh, from the previous clips, my armor has grown a lot. From the summer in July, um, it's about way overdue video that I made this. It's been over half a year, um, but yeah, I finally got around to doing it. So there you go. Um, yeah, now for some announcements. My next video will most likely be um, a review of the Raven or with the Elite Raven, whatever I decide to do. That's what will probably be next, and then I'm probably going to be working on a modification uh, blaster, custom blaster for y'all, another one, which I hope y'all enjoy next, so, um, I'll try and get the website up, I'll start, I'll work on it this weekend, see if I can get it done, but you know it's Easter, it's still pretty hectic whenever it's Easter, um, I get Friday off, so I'll try to work on it, anyway, so this has been Ner uh, Nerf Armory 2 by the Nerf Con 1, thanks for watching.